Hello and welcome to MedMon's M700 tutorial videos. In this tutorial, I'll discuss how to print an exam and how to change the print screen setup. First, select the exam you'd like to print. Then, click the File button. From here, you'll see a drop-down list which includes Print, Print Preview, Quick Print, and Quick Preview. When pressing Print or Print Preview, you'll be shown the same print report selection pop-up window. From this window, you can select which type of print report you'd like to see and also choose which printer to use. You can also edit the settings of any print report by selecting it and pressing the Settings button, or delete it by pressing the Delete button. You can see that the threshold overview difference from baseline print report is set as a default. If I were to press Quick Print or Quick Preview, MedOne Studio would then either immediately print the default report or generate a preview of it. You can change the default by selecting a different exam and clicking the Set Default button. You can also create a new print report template by pressing New, which I'll come back to. The list of all of your available print reports is shown here. These are populated based on the display you're trying to print. For example, tests that don't use a thresholding strategy have a special three-zone print report, which will only show here if you try to print that type of exam. For now, let's take a look at the basic templates. One of the most useful print reports is a threshold overview print, so we'll start there. This is the most widely recognized printout for visual fields, and is very similar to that produced by a Humphrey Field Analyzer. Double-click the print report, or select it and press OK to view the print preview. If you selected Print instead of Print Preview, clicking OK would automatically print that report. By selecting Preview, we can look at the layout first. The Threshold Overview report is designed to give you all of the information you need from a single test. As a default, it shows patient and test data at the top, with test results and reliability statistics at the bottom. It shows the levels in both a planar view and a level view, as well as an age normal and patient HOV deviation and probability maps. In the top toolbar, you have a number of print and view options. You can choose to print the preview directly by pressing the print button. The clipboard button will copy the image to the clipboard, or you can press the file button to save the print report as a PDF or image. The view panel allows you to select how many pages to view at one time. This applies only if you have selected multiple maps. If you have four maps selected, for example, pressing six pages would allow you to see all four at once. You can scroll through the pages by changing the page number or pressing the up and down arrow button. You can also control the magnification in the zoom tab. Whole page will display the entire page on your screen, while page width will scale it to fit the width of your screen. The 200, 100, 150, and 50% buttons also allow you to choose a viewing size. For many, the Threshold Overview print screen may be set up just as you like, but for those who find it doesn't quite work, we have a lot of other options. The first is to press Settings in the Setup tab. In the General Settings tab of the Print Settings pop-up, you can find the generic printer settings. Here you can change the title at the header of the printed page, or choose paper size and which printer to use. However, Pressing the Overview Print tab gives you the options to set up the print report however you'd like. The Common Settings group is shared among all of the map windows. Changes you make here will be applied to each map in the print report. You can set the scaling to linear or nonlinear, add numeric tick marks to the map axes, and choose to display attributes and annotations. The attributes that are shown in the Data tab are not automatically set for the print screen, so you must choose which attributes to display. If you want to compare tests or simply save space, you can also choose to have two exams displayed per page. Finally, if you're using the DV2000 software and have your visual field map overlaid on a retinal image, you can control the opacity of the map by adjusting the overall opacity percent. The second half of this setting screen allows you to modify the layout. The column of 2 by 3 square boxes corresponds to the locations on the print report. If you select a box, you can see the settings for that map. For example, if I select the middle left box, you see the map type changes to age normal deviation. If I want this map in color, I can uncheck the traditional grayscale box and press apply. If you've been a Humphrey user in the past and want to display the numeric maps in a grid display, you can select those locations and switch the map to numeric grid. You can even display a map in the perspective view if you wish. If you have DV2000 installed, you can also toggle the retinal overlay on and off with the retinal overlay button. 
pressing the Defaults button will return all of these settings to their defaults. If you intend to keep the modifications you've made to a print report, all you need to do is press OK or Apply. These settings will then be saved to the print report you're working with. However, you cannot save a new print report this way. Since I've been working from my built-in threshold overview report, any changes I will make will stay with this report. To build and save your own print report, return to the print report settings window by pressing File, Print, or Print Preview. From here, select New and then choose a print report template. I'm going to choose Threshold Overview, select it, and press OK. I'll change the name to Threshold Overview Print Numeric Grid. Now, I'll select the Overview Print tab and change all of the outputs that are normally in the normal numeric display to a numeric grid display. Pressing OK will save my new print report to the list of report types. I can edit this at any time by pressing the Settings button or by opening the Print Preview and pressing Settings. You can see now that I have a new template saved that will automatically print a threshold overview print using the numeric grid layout. Let's return to the Print Report Settings page and look at some of the other template options for printing. You can switch the type of print report you're using directly from the Print Preview window by pressing the Report button in the Setup tab. Selecting Current Display will print exactly what your display looks like. There are no special settings for this print screen, so any changes you want to make to the layout you have to make in the display you're working with before printing. The next report in our list is a threshold overview print with two exams per page. The layout for this print report is the same as the other threshold overview, but it's formatted in landscape by default and compresses two reports into a single page. Returning to the report page, we also have Threshold Multiprint. This print report is designed to show a collection of different tests on the same page. It's useful for looking at progression and has a number of unique settings. You can show multiple tests by selecting more than one test in the main window before pressing print, or you can also select the patient and then press print. If we try this by selecting the patient glaucoma progression, you can see the print report that is generated shows all of his visual field tests. Looking at the settings, we see a number of unique areas in the multi-print tab. You can choose to display the left, right, or both eyes in the same printout. The sorting option allows you to choose if you want the test descending or ascending by date. The common settings are the same as the threshold overview, as is the layout area. The only difference here is that there are four boxes arranged in a single row, which correspond to the four different display types shown for each map. As with the threshold overview report, you can edit any of these maps displays by selecting them and editing the options. Let's go back to the print report options for a single map. The two remaining options are both difference from baseline prints. If we click on the threshold multiprint difference from baseline report, you see that it follows the same format as the previous threshold multiprint. However, the final map now shows the difference from baseline display as a default rather than the patient HOV deviation. The last report type for a single test is a threshold overview difference from baseline print. When I select this, you can see that the layout is slightly different than the normal threshold overview print report. All the maps are compressed to the left, and an additional difference from baseline map is added in with all of its corresponding information. This is a special print report, and it does not allow the settings to be modified. There's one final print report, and this can only be accessed if a patient name is selected instead of an exam. The M700 regression report prints the output of the regression report view window. There are no special print report settings available for this, so any changes you want to make in the data displayed need to be updated in the regression display window before printing. This concludes the M700 series of tutorial videos. I hope you found all the information you need. Please let us know if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, and goodbye for now.